Okay. Yeah. So, hi, my name is Balaji. Um, I, I, my background is in data science. So I help my company, uh, you know, make some decisions based on data. So for example, uh, at my current employer, I look at the historical sales and using that data, I predict what the sales are going to be in the future so that you know, they can decide to make sure they have enough supply, they have enough inventory and they know how many products to manufacture and uh, such things. So most of my work is on mathematics and uh, data. Um, so now your second question was regarding my uh, tweets. So I think a lot because my background is, you know, in data and, uh, you know, looking at charts all day. Um, I was seeing some data about climate change uh, on the news and, uh, you know, they, I think the, the, the data was correct, but what they were understanding from the data and what they were interpreting from the data was all wrong. Right. And uh, based on my background, looking at data, I realized that there's something else can be done. You, know, you, you can look at data and come to the correct uh, conclusions, uh, which, which is why, you know, I used my knowledge in data science to start, you know, looking at this climate data. And uh, I realized that not just in one place in the earth, uh, pretty much all over the world, the temperatures have been rising. Right. So if you look at my tweets, it's not just in Tunisia. You, I have provided information all across the world. And, uh, you know, you, you will notice that over the last, since 1975, the temperature has increased by about half a degree to like three degrees, depending on the place. But it has always increased everywhere. And I think that is concerning, uh, right? Because I think we live in this uh, ecosystem where, uh, you know, small changes have a big implication. So I think the, the example that I want to give here is, the, you know, the one of the most favorite beverages that we have on earth is coffee. Right? And to plant coffee and to harvest coffee, you need this very small uh, segment of temperature. Like if, if it's too cold or if it's too warm, the coffee plant will not grow. And because of that, what is happening as it gets warmer and warmer, the people who are planting coffee, uh, they have to leave their field and go to a different place. Right? Um, and just by this small factor, you can see that farmers are being displaced. Right? Now they have to go and acquire land at some other place to, uh, that is convenient for farming to start doing the farming. Now, 10 years later, that place will become inconvenient for farming. They have to find another place. Right? So I think that's a very simple example. As you can see here, right, like even this very small change has caused a big change for the entire world. Um, there are so many other things as well. It, 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 coffee, giving this coffee is just one small example. Um, so I think that that is what has motivated me uh, in this regard. Uh, but your last question around uh, what can we do better? Right. To be honest, I do not know. I think. I think it starts more as with most problems. It starts with acknowledging that there is a problem, and you know, even knowing that there is a problem. Right? And I think that is what I'm doing right now is by informing people who don't really think of these things uh, that you know that, that there is actually a problem going on. Uh, mo most people, right? You know, I think most people when they think that um, the temperature has increased by one and a half degree, they they don't think. Of that very seriously right like you you can imagine you know you're living in an air-conditioned room uh so what will the temperature instead of uh, 20 degree it is 22 degree yeah huh? like that, that doesn't really change how they're feeling right like they will still feel pleasant whether the air conditioner is at 20 or it is at 22 but the room in which they're sitting is a small ecosystem right it doesn't have a big impact but i think what people need to understand is that if the atmosphere temperature changes by two degrees, it's very bad. Uh, and I think that it starts by knowing that there is this problem. Uh, I, I don't know what the solution is. I think um, you know you, we have to work with a number of experts to find out the solution. But the first thing we can do to address the solution is to you know 
agree that there is a problem. Mm-hmm. I would say it's not high or it's not low. It's it's quite the same. I would say it's uh, it's. I mean the the I mean the atmosphere is all connected, right? So I, I don't think there is any place that is worse, or I mean th- there will be some places that are worse and some places that are bad, but most places are equally bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I think that is outside of my expertise. So, uh, you know, I, I have no idea how I can say that, right? Because, because my training is in like sales forecast. So, I mean, I, I know how to collect all the data and how to put it in a chart, all of that uh, for anything. But if I, if you were to ask me to predict sales, yeah, I can predict sales. But predict what is going to happen in terms of temperature. Um, yeah, I think that that's outside my expertise. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I... I generally look at after 1975 uh, purely because before 1975, the data is not available uh, in this source that I use from. So the source that I use is NOAA. Uh, and, you know, if you go to the bottom of my tweet, you will find the exact uh, link for the source as well. Uh, so th- that source, it has data from 1900 as well, but it's very bad. So from 1975, it's reliably good. Uh, I think for Tunisia, the data I had was only from 1995. Uh, the, the, uh, yeah. yeah, before 1995, there was not good data, so I didn't use it. Uh, but yeah, so you usually start at 1975. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, I think uh, you know. I think it's we'll have to study, you know, geology to know how they are exactly related. Uh, but you know, it's a very fragile ecosystem, right? Like, um, I, I think you have to believe the experts when they say that. Uh, you know, again, I, I'm not an expert, but I believe in the other experts in this field who say that even this one degree increase in temperature uh, is going to have a big impact in terms of how uh, the clouds move or how the winds blow. And that, obviously that is going to have an impact on the rainfall, right? And if there is an impact on rainfall, then you know we are going to be heavily dependent on underwater, uh, underground water. And if you are going to deplete all of the underground water, that, that's a bad thing as well, right? Like if a rivers do not flow and they don't replenish the underground water. Um, that is bad. And if the rare, if there is no rain, then that's another bad thing. So I think again, like I, I am not an expert here, uh, but I believe the other experts when they say that uh, there is a multiplier effect here. Right, a one degree might not look so bad, but because of that multiplier effect, uh, it's going to have a bigger impact not just in terms of just the temperature but in terms of rainfall in terms of how much water uh, uh, clean water we have and all of that yeah yeah Oh yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, thank you. See you. All the best.